In this video, we will learn how to find a molecular weight in atomic mass units. Darcy is drinking a cup of water and begins to wonder, how heavy is a water molecule? The cup feels fairly light compared to picking up a chair, but a single molecule must be extremely light. Well, you're going to help us find out today. One water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So it's reasonable to say that if we know the weight of each atom and multiply it by how many of the atoms are in the formula, we could find the molecular weight. Let's find these two elements on the periodic table for a little assistance. The number below the atomic symbol is the average atomic weight. The average atomic weight for hydrogen is 1.00794U. What does this mean? This average atomic weight doesn't mean that one hydrogen atom will weigh 1.00794U but the average of all the naturally occurring isotopes of hydrogen atoms weighs 1.00794U. Isotopes are a topic of another video. Let's just say for now that there are some hydrogens that weigh a little more or a little less depending on each atom's exact composition, but we will use this number on the periodic table, the average weight of an atom, to help us calculate our molecular weight. If there are two hydrogens, what is the total weight of hydrogen in H2O? To find the weight of the hydrogen atoms, we will take the atomic weight, 1.00794U, and multiply it by 2, which is the number of hydrogen atoms in H2O. But we're not done. We can't forget about the oxygen atoms that also make up H2O. What is the total weight of oxygen in H2O? Since there is only one oxygen, we have 15.9994U as the total weight for the oxygen in H2O. Now, we can just add our total weight for the hydrogens plus the total weight of the oxygen to get a molecular weight of 18.0153U. Let's look at this complicated structure next to find the molecular weight. How many hydrogen atoms are there? There are eight hydrogen atoms. We can count up the number of atoms to put in a molecular formula for this molecule. Each atom gets their symbol and the number of atoms in the structure as a subscript. What is the molecular formula for the structure? Yes, our molecular formula is C3H8O because there are three carbon atoms, eight hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom. All we have to do to find the molecular weight is multiply the average atomic weight of a certain atom by the number of atoms of that element, then add all the weights together. What is the molecular weight of C3H8O? First, we will look at the carbon atoms. The atomic weight for one carbon atom is 12.0107U. So if there are three carbon atoms in this formula, we want to multiply 12.0107U by three atoms to get 36.0321U. Now, we do the same for hydrogen. 1.00794U times eight hydrogen atoms is 8.06352U. For oxygen, it's 15.9994U times one oxygen atom, which is 15.9994U. Adding them all together, we have a total of 60.0950U as the molecular weight for C3H8O. As any typical college student, you rely on coffee to keep you awake for your 8am classes. Let's look at the structure for caffeine. What is the molecular formula for caffeine? Yes, there are eight carbon atoms, 10 hydrogen atoms, four nitrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms. What is the molecular weight of this caffeine molecule? Each carbon atom has an atomic weight of 12.0105U. So eight atoms times 12.0105U gets us 96.0840U. Each hydrogen atom weighs 1.00794U. So 10 atoms times 1.00794U equals 10.0794U. Each nitrogen atom weighs 14.0067U. So four nitrogen atoms times 14.0067U is 56.0268U. And the two oxygen atoms times the atomic weight for each atom, 15.9994U equals 31.9988U. Finally, we add them all together to equal 194.1890U. 
Caffeine is not only prominent in tea and coffee, but it is very common to find it in many prescriptions and over-the-counter medications, such as pain relief remedies. Check the ingredients in any of yours.